Hello and welcome to Automator's Edge. Do me a favor and zap that like and subscribe button. Let's gear up for some insights and education in the world of control automation. Remember when early vibration sensing had a large footprint and required massive computing power? That often resulted in sensors crying wolf. Well, the Advantech Wise 2460 and 2460P aim to revolutionize vibration sensing with a compact footprint and seamless integration for faster, more reliable performance. These sensors measure vibrations reporting relevant data to distinguish normal signals from potential mechanical issues in heavy equipment. Vibration sensors analyze industrial equipment by establishing a baseline signal, either a fingerprint of a normal frequency spectrum or defined parameters. The system then detects deviations from this baseline, signaling potential changes in the equipment. The Advantech Wise 2460 and 2460P are both designed to measure vibration signatures in motors, pumps, gearboxes, compressors, and more. Some of the designs coming out today are truly amazing. I got a great one for you next in our premier product highlight brought to you by Mauser Electronics. The Omron CJ1W NC881 boasts preeminent control performance and user friendly operation through EtherCAT, enhancing production efficiency. With high speed EtherCAT at 100 megabits per second, it ensures swift and precise position control with a wide array of functions. This unit offers fast positioning operation, supports servo motors with absolute encoders, monitors deviation during linear interpolation, and features memory operation to perform pre-programmed tasks. While delivering all of these advanced connectivity and communication features, the Omron CJ1W NC881 provides versatile control capabilities for improved manufacturing efficiency. Check them out at mauser.com. Education is the compass that guides us to progress. In this spirit, we present David's Corner. Over to you, David. Thanks, Andy. You know, no control system can even begin without the process of collecting data, usually from sensors. Optical sensors are one of the longest lasting and most fundamental sensors used in the control automation market. There are three different types of optical sensors. The first type of optical sensor is known as the through beam sensor. A sending and receiving device are placed on opposite sides of your detection line. As an object passes between them, it breaks the beam and then an object is detected. The second one is very similar. It's called a retro reflective. A reflector, often a very purpose built actual reflector is placed on the opposite side of the line and a single device both sends and receives the signal from that reflector. The third kind of optical sensor is a little bit more common in industry and it's what they call a diffuse reflective. Like the retro reflective, it both sends and receives the signal, but it's much more sensitive than the retro reflective. The light is sent out, 
and then a smaller amount is reflected back at the sensor. That way, the sensor can have an adjustable range of sensitivity to detect different kinds of objects and at different ranges. There are a few downsides to optical sensors. They're not very good at sensing transparent or highly reflective objects. But due to their ease of use, they're one of the most fundamental and common sensors that we'll find throughout the entire control automation industry. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. In the 18th century, Joseph Fouré was orphaned at the age of nine and imprisoned during the French Revolution. Yet despite these obstacles and many others, he persevered and became one of the world's premier mathematicians and physicists. He also made significant contributions to control theory and signal processing. At times, external influences are unavoidable, but the primary form of control resides within oneself. See you next time.